fall down on its own as I think about this. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's that rock I put in there. Wow. Accidentally solved that puzzle. This whole facility must have been a death trap. This fan would slice the meat slice meat in a millisecond. I wonder if I can stop it. Oh, there is this. Then open that. Hmm, another rock in the conveyor belt. Where could that go? these barrels for anything. <sighs> Can't seem to be able to break it. Maybe one of those huge worm things came through here. I'd rather believe it was a standard corrosion, but I doubt it. No, no, no. Hole looks too small and doesn't really go anywhere. Oh no. I can't go through there. No, I don't want to do anything with that. I wonder what the spare motor is meant for. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Throw it. Second time, I probably shouldn't have thrown the barrels up here. Or up this way. Probably only need one. Dang, right? Heavier than the barrel. Air melt bell must come out of this hole. Oh. Did I just break the motor? I hope so. Yeah. Should be safe now if I'm quick. Why does it look like it's covered in blood though? That should do the trick. Keep it stuck there. Still, that looks more like blood than rust. I don't like this. Who? What in the hell? That was just very bright. Yeah, like right here. now such good and lasting friends. I have gifted you with my love. Perhaps you could gift me with something. After all, the laws of politeness would be shattered if you were to appear at my party without a gift. Poor Red is so hungry. He could eat both the horse and the young Ridley's stable hand. Sadly, pony flesh is so hard to come by in these parts, and man meat is so... just so bland. If your eyes happened upon a scurrying rodent, would you deliver the crunchy feast uh, by way of a final meal. I suppose I can uh, do that. Weird. 
guy. Drive it down a note, just in case. Second gate in the refinery is not functioning. Uh. Try this again. All the machinery looks intact. It's just missing a motor. Um, intact is a single word, you know? Uh -huh. So that's what that conveyor's for. Just need to put the motor on it. Hopefully it can get through this. Just weird. Okay, like somehow it's so much darker halfway through, like just that far through. Stopped. No. no. Much better. Okay, conveniently just kind of slid in place. This looks dangerous. Steam. Oh. I was actually standing on it, but okay. Hmm. No, it's definitely not big enough. What am I saying? It's definitely too big to run across. Important 101 loading instructions. I'm guessing I'll need something to stand on. Stop making that sound. How does a light even make that kind of buzz? is actually a way to shut off the steam. Perhaps I need 
need all of them. I wonder if I can use this motor. Nope. that barrel. Hopefully they didn't get stuck in there. to run across that, I assume. Uh, so, I guess I need to carry three barrels around. Let's get the first one back out there. Probably just throw it into the first room. Then run back and get the other two. That's right, I can speed run. Okay, didn't expect that to hurt that much. Losing blood. Jump. Puzzle solving is a pretty nice change of pace from being terrified all the time. Push that one.
stand up again. third barrel. How this would be even be remotely possible outside of a game, I'm just picking up barrels like this. <gasps> Shit. I like this all the time. I can understand that a lot more. Believe that a lot more. Whew. Aha. More barrels. Shut. Huh. Guess I'm gonna have to go through here. Oh boy, the vent is set up in a maze-like formation. That's bad. Ah, can go somewhere new. Take me. Minecart sitting still, yet its tire is turning. Well, either way, I, th I think I played enough for today. So that'll be it for <coughs> this session of Penumbra Overture. I don't know. I think overall it might, not have been, might have been just not quite as scary as it was earlier. And again, my most recent memory of it is doing a bunch of terror-free puzzle solving. Yay! Either way, that's it for now. Hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.